Hi everyone, I'm Andrea. Welcome to Gentle Yoga. I'm from the YMCA Virtual Studio. I'm going to invite everyone to lay down on your backs and take the soles of your feet together. Just like in a regular yoga class, I'll do some of the moves and some of the moves you'll just listen to my voice and follow along. So take it down, take the soles of your feet together, take your left hand to your heart and take your right hand just below your belly button and start to follow your breath in and out. Just start to notice any sensations that start to come up in the body. Close your eyes, soften your face. And let's find that moment to be gentle. And today I'm going to ask you to look for your North Star. Look for what brings you the most happiness. And I'm going to start off by reading a passage to you. And it's called Our True Heritage by Thich Nahan. The cosmos is filled with precious gems. I want to offer a handful of them to you today. Each moment you are alive is a gem, shining through and containing earth and sky, water and clouds. It needs you to breathe gently for the miracles to be displayed. Suddenly, you hear the birds singing, the pines chanting, see the flowers blooming, the blue sky, the white clouds, the smile and the marvelous look of your beloved. You, the richest person on earth, come back and claim your heritage. Enjoy your happiness and offer it to everyone. Cherish this moment. Let go of the stream of distress and embrace life fully. So continue to follow your breath in and out. And I'm going to join you here on my back. And let's just bring it into a happy baby pose. Lift your feet up, flex your feet, and just start to rock the baby side to side. And if you want to make it more challenging, more intense, you could straddle the legs and open them. And today we're going to search for our North Star during class. We're going to focus in on what makes you feel good, what makes you feel loved. Bring a little self-care and gentle yoga to your world. Pull the left leg in, right leg out. Feel the stretch in the back of the leg. Maybe lift the face and see what you could soften. Now, as an option, you can lower the other foot down to the ground, and then we switch. As an option, lower the foot down, and then just start to let it flow. Go inside to side. And gently hug the knees into the chest. Drop the knees to the left, arms to the right. Notice where you feel the stretch. And same thing, opposite side. 
Feel that opposite shoulder blade gently touching the mat. And then bring it back to that happy baby. Feet go up, flex the feet, rock side to side. And back to that left leg, straight up, right leg out. Lift that face up towards the leg. And then just go side to side. And if the neck is tired, lower the head down. And then pull the left leg in, drop the right leg down. Left arm out, drag the knee across, final twist. Now we could stay here or we can go into a laying down dancer, pulling that left heel in towards the glutes, keeping the knees close. Maybe just noticing how good this stretch feels right here. And release, take it right back onto your back, back into that happy baby. Feet go up, rock the baby side to side. And then bring the right leg up, inhale and exhale, follow your breath. and extend the legs straight out, stretching the hamstrings. And then gently bring that right leg up, lower that left foot down, hug the knee into the chest, and drag it across. Right shoulder blade down, And just feel the breath, that deep inhale and exhale. If it feels right for you, come up onto the side, pull the knee in close. And then gently bring it onto your back. Take the soles of the feet back together again. Take that left hand back to the heart, right hand just below the belly button. And I'm gonna extend a warm invitation to you. If at any time during class you need a moment to come back and center, it's a wonderful place to come to. And take a big breath in, inhale, and exhale, yoga bridge, feet flat, lift the hips, reach your arms away. Option, we can stay here or keep the arms by your side, press your right foot into the mat, lift the left ankle and cross it up over the knee. So you feel the glutes working, you open through the hips. And then softly lower, we could stay here or we could lift that right foot. And then take that opposite ankle and rotate three times in each direction. And then lower back to that yoga bridge. Squeeze the glutes, lift the hips. And we could stay here, this might be enough. And when we work on finding our North Star, 
the thing that brings us the most happiness. It's important to start with what you need. So if this is enough, stay here or cross the ankle over. Gently lower, make a choice. Maybe lift the opposite foot, opening through those hips. Take that left ankle, rotate three times each direction. Hug the knees into the chest, drop the knees to the left, arms to the right. Big stretch. And same thing, opposite side. And then from your back, grab the back of the legs, roll it on up. So bring it into butterfly pose. Take the soles of your feet together. Take a big inhale, look up. Maybe a gentle smile, float across your face, and then exhale, forward fold, lowering your head. And I know sometimes when I hear certain songs, it brings up a happy memory. I hope there's a song on this playlist that you love and you could relate to. Something that brings you happiness. Bring it up, take your right foot out, flex that right foot, bring your left foot in, take a big inhale, exhale, turn and twist. So as we twist, we come nice and tall, flexing that right foot. Bring it center, flex both feet, inhale it. Exhale, forward fold, hinge and then round. And then gently inhale, look up, lengthen the spine. Lift the arms, touch the sky. Exhale, lower down. Same thing, other side. Bring that right foot in, come nice and tall, flex the left foot. Inhale, exhale, twist. Bring it back center, back into that butterfly pose. Take the soles of the feet together, big inhale. And then big exhale, forward fold, hinging from the hips, lower as deeply as you could go. Feel the opening in the hips, maybe reaching the arms out. And then gently come up and let's come onto our hands and our knees. Now, when we come into tabletop, you have a lot of options here for this pose. If your knees start to bother you, you could roll up your yoga mat and just make a little pillow for your knees. So that's an option. Or if you have a yoga blanket nearby, it's another option. Take your toes, curl them under, and let's practice our cat cow. Big inhale up and exhale round. Inhale, lift, and exhale, round. And now just take that at your own pace, lifting and rounding. So I like to do it with the toes curled under because it helps activate the energy in the body. It's a beautiful stretch on those toes and then gently release the flex of the feet. Take the back, just flatten it. Bring your head and your glutes towards the left and then go towards the right. So we go side to side, like you're a doggy just wagging your tail. And 
then bring it center. Softly lower the right knee to the earth. Take your left leg, extend it straight out. Option one, just stay here. There's really no reason to add on unless you want to. And if you do, extend the opposite arm out. If you want to go even deeper, if it feels right, you could reach back and hold on to the top of your foot, pressing the foot into the hand and lifting the foot up. And every once in a while, ask yourself, is this gentle? Am I going too far? Am I doing too much? And if you answer yes, take it back. Gate pose. Take that left foot, extend it out. Option one, we stay right here. Or come up, slide the left hand down the left leg. Reach that right arm up. And I love this pose because the foot is rooting you to the earth, but your arm is reaching up for the stars. And now bring both arms up, interlock the fingers, press up, feel that stretch. And then exhale, lower down, take it back into that cat cow, hands on the earth, inhale up. Exhale round. Your pace, your flow. You're the captain of your ship. You're in charge. And then bring it flat. Soften that left knee to the mat. Extend that right leg going out. Feel the strength in the upper body. Feel the balance in the core. Then it's time to make a choice. Maybe reach the opposite arm up out and away. Draw the shoulders down the back. You could stay here or reach around, hold on to the top of the foot. And then we ask ourselves, is this gentle? Does this feel right? Big breath in, inhale, exhale. Take that right foot out to the side. Up we go, gate pose, touch the sky. And then reach, take that left arm up and over. Drop the right arm down the leg. Big breath in, inhale, and exhale. Let's take it into down dog, all right? Spread your fingers wide, come into plank. Take it back, down dog. Just start to walk the dog, lower left foot, and right. And bend the knees and bring your feet into chair pose. So circle, sweep the arms, and let's start with just taking the hands into the heart center. If you want to make it more challenging, you can reach your arms up out and away, but remember this is gentle. We don't have to. Then we're gonna lower the right hand to the earth, lift the left arm up. And if you have a yoga block, just Place your right hand down. Bring it back into that chair pose. Big inhale. Big exhale. Feel yourself be rooted. And then same thing other side. Lower that left hand down. Reach that right arm up. Take it back into that chair. Then take it all the way up into mountain pose. Come nice and tall. Spread your fingers wide. 
lift all ten toes right here and then soften those toes down take your left foot to the front of the mat and then take your right foot back take your hands to your heart center and just take a big breath in and exhale and just hold If you want to add more challenge, sink deeper and lift the arms. Lower the arms down if they were up. Extend that left arm up and just reach it and lift. Slide the right hand down that right leg. And if your legs become tired, just straighten them a wee bit. And then maybe come back into it. Then gently float it into warrior two. So sink into that front leg. Pull back on that back arm. Flip the front palm, reach the front, and then slide that right hand down that right leg. Big inhale, big exhale, extended angle. So lower that left arm above the knee, reach the right arm going forward. And if you want to go deeper, just lower that hand to the earth. And if not, just stay up. And then gently bring it back into that warrior two. And super slowly step it back into mountain pose. Come nice and tall. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Inhale, up, lift. Now, if you're in the mood to vinyasa, flow it. You could do that. Or take the hands to the heart center. Stab that left foot back. Warrior one, square the hips. If you want to lift the arms, you can lift them up here. Then gently bring it into a warrior two. Pull back on the back arm. Sink into that front leg. Drop the shoulders. What can you relax in your body? Flip the front palm and reverse. Inhale, exhale, extended angle. Bring that front arm forward. So maybe we stay right here. Maybe you lower down deeper. It's all based on what your body wants. Now gently come back up. Turn your toes. To the side of the mat, interlock your fingers from behind. Inhale, look up. And you could stay here or you could float forward, bringing those arms going overhead. And if you did that, just slowly bring it back up. Inhale, lift the chest. And then gently just start to step that back foot coming in. Take it into a strong mountain pose. Maybe take a moment to close your eyes. Maybe come back to the breathing. Feel the belly expand on the inhale. Some smaller on the exhale. Just take a moment.
Come back to mountain. Inhale up. Touch the sky. Press the left foot softly into the mat. Extend back into that warrior one. We've been here. Now I want you to bring out the warrior inside of you. It's gentle yoga, but we are warriors. Arms could be up or down. I'm lowering mine. Hands to heart center. Turn it back into that warrior two. Sink into that front line. Flip the front palm. Inhale. Exhale. Slide the right arm. Down that right leg. Now this time we're going to take it into a triangle pose. So straighten that front leg. Reach to the front. And when you can't reach any farther, lower that hand down. That top thumb is lined up with the nose. Now we don't have to go all the way down. Gently come back into that warrior two. Flip the front palm. Reverse, feel the stretch. Now if you want to add a little more spice to it, interlock the fingers, lift the arms, and reach the arms going back. And then back to that warrior two. Gently. Step the back foot in, come into that mountain pose, come nice and tall. Just take a big cleansing breath. Let everyone in your house hear it. Make it really loud. Inhale. And exhale. Always feels good when we do that, doesn't it? Take the hands to the heart center or arms go up. Press the right foot into the mat. Extend that left foot back. Warrior one, your choice, where you want your arms. We're going to do it a little bit different on the side. We're going to add a little steps that are just maybe more gentle. Take your wrists and just start to rotate three times in each direction. And then lift the arms up and warrior two. Bring out that warrior in you. Maybe for a moment just reflect on when you've been a warrior. When during this last year have you shown strength? Big inhale, flip the front palm and reverse. Come back to that warrior two, straight in that front leg. And now we triangle pose. Reach to the front, I mean you can't reach any farther. Lower that right hand down. Her body is in between two panes of glass. And we breathe. If you want, you can lower deeper. There's no magic in having the hand touch the floor. It's just what feels good. Float back up into that warrior two. Flip the front palm and reverse. Inhale, exhale, back to that warrior two. This time, a little different like I said on this side. Turn the toes to the side, interlock the fingers. Inhale, look up. Just feel your heart open, feel your chest open. And then release and just step that back foot in, come nice and tall. 
Back to that mountain pose. Can you imagine for a moment you are standing tall on top of a mountain? And pick your season. Is it fall and the leaves are all beautiful, orange and red and yellow? Are you standing on top of a mountain in the winter and it's snowing? Are you on top of the mountain and you're watching a beautiful sunset? Or is it spring and the flowers are just starting to bloom? Find your North Star, find what makes you happy. Inhale, lift the arms up, touch the sky. Interlock the fingers, press the left foot deeply into the mat, reach the arms to the side. And then inhale up, same thing, other side. Come nice and tall. Back into that mountain pose. I'm going to add some balance. So what I'm going to invite you to do is just for a moment, have your eye gaze. Go straight out in front of you a few feet. Soften your eye gaze and just gaze at the floor. And then we're going to tree pose. So balance right, lift the left foot. Maybe the toes touch the floor. Or maybe you let your foot go up. Maybe you let your arms be branches and you reach the arms. Or maybe you want to extend your leg out. Maybe this just feels right, holding on to the big toe and extending your leg out. Then lowering the arms down, come back to that mountain. You pick the season, you pause right here. Lift all 10 toes, spread them wide, and then softly lower them down. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Your version of tree, maybe toes to the earth. Maybe you let your foot climb. Maybe you lift the arms like your branches. Maybe you spice it up. If it feels right, hold on to the big toe. Extend the leg going out. Always giving you options. And then gently lower those arms, lower the feet, interlock from behind. Heel toe your feet so your pinky toes come off the mat. Take a big breath in, inhale. And exhale, hands to the heart center and just start to ease your way down. Starting to lower, maybe you lower all the way down. Maybe this doesn't feel gentle, maybe you stay up. And then softly have your hands touch the earth and then gently bring it back up. Heel toe those feet back in. Inhale, touch the sky. Interlock the fingers, big stretch to the side and to the side. Come back up, baby back bend. Lower those arms down. One last standing flow, and then we'll go down to the mats. Take your left foot forward, extend that right leg back. So we're in a lunge right here. Trying to get that front quad either parallel or close to parallel, but only what feels good. Spread those front toes. Maybe interlock the fingers from behind.
And then if it feels right, lower those fingertips down to the ground, relax the neck. Your other option is to lower that back knee down to the ground. Remember, you're the captain of your ship. You choose, you do what feels good. Right hand on the yoga block or the ground, lift the left arm up. And we twist. Lower the hand and then inhale. Come back up, either arms lifted or hands on hips. And then just start to step that back foot in back to the mountain. Lift all 10 toes, spread them wide. Take a big breath in, inhale. Big breath out, exhale. We're gonna do a little differently on this side. Step back, hold the lunge, either hands on hips or maybe interlock from behind. Opening those hip flexors, sinking as deeply as you want to go. And remember following that breath, inhale and exhale, lowering those fingertips down to the earth, maybe placing the hands on the yoga block or maybe the mat. Inhale, exhale, lift, right arm up, twist. Lower the hand down. Gently, slowly come back up. Step that back foot in. Back to that mountain, inhale. And exhale. We're gonna take it down to the mat. This is the part of class where you might wanna put a sweatshirt on or socks on. If you have a yoga blanket, grab it. Because now that we're done with the big movements in the gentle yoga, you might start to get a little chilly. So just be prepared for that. And let's take it back into that butterfly pose that we practiced earlier. Take the soles of the feet together, big inhale, lift, and exhale, forward fold. See if you could relax your face, if you can soften your jaw. Gently roll it back up and we're gonna twist here. Flex your right foot, left foot in. Inhale, exhale, turn and twist. And then same thing, other side. Flex the foot, inhale, look up. Exhale, twist. Flexing the left foot. And then gently take both feet, flex them, bring it back center. Inhale up, exhale, forward fold. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings, feel the stretch in the back. And just notice where it feels good. Maybe hold on to the big toes. And then gently we're gonna take it onto our backs. Remember the very beginning when we started with the soles of our feet together? We're gonna do that now. So take it down. Open through those hips. Maybe take your left hand to your heart, your right hand 
just below your belly button. And come back to that mindful breath, following the breath in and out, inhale and exhale. And extend the legs out. Bring your left leg up. Take the left leg off to the left. Open through the hips. Now, of course, we could use a yoga strap or a kitchen towel and just wrap that around the foot. Or you can hold on to the calf area. And then gently we bring that leg back up. And option one is to bend the knee and spinal twist like we did in the beginning. Or lift the leg up. Drag the leg across. Gently drag that leg back. Wiggle out your legs. Feel a difference on the right and the left. And then same thing, other side. So bring the leg up, yoga strap or kitchen towel around the foot. Drag it off to the side. Take a big breath in, inhale, and exhale. Option, spinal twist, or if it feels right, lift the leg and drag the leg across. And play around with it, see what feels better. And I'm gonna bring you into a gentle, Yoga bridge, lift the hips. And then slowly lower down. I'm gonna invite you to go into your meditation pose. So lay on your back. And if it feels right to take the soles of the feet together, then you can do that. Or if you want to move your mat and do legs up against the wall, you could do that as well. But wherever you are, I'm going to invite you to take a deep yawn. Open the mouth. See if you could allow your body to get a little more comfortable on the mat. Sink just a little bit deeper. And notice if there are any areas of tension in the body, maybe the neck, maybe the shoulder. And again, open your mouth, take a deep yawn, stretch the muscles in the face. And just let your body lay in total rest, peace, awareness, and meditation. Following the breath in and out. Relaxing the mind. 
Our mind is like a boat and it drifts away. So anchor it back into the feeling of the breath or the sounds in the room. Maybe start to scan the body and again notice if there's any areas that you could release any tension. Following the breath in and out. Gently start to feel your body come back as you wiggle your fingers and your toes. And then gently take the soles of your feet together. Take your right hand to your heart and take your left hand just below your belly button. Follow the breath. In and out. As I read to you, A Precious Human Life by the Dalai Lama. Every day, think as you wake up. Today, I am fortunate to have woken up. I am alive. I have a precious human life. I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to use all of my energies to develop myself, to expand my heart out to others, to achieve enlightenment for the benefit of all beings. I'm going to have kind thoughts towards others. I'm going to benefit others as much as I can and benefit myself too. Very gently roll it over onto your side. And super, super slowly, bring it up to a simple seated position. Now if you wanna take your meditation and have it expanded, take it a little bit longer, you're always welcome to do that. Take a big breath in, take the hands into the heart center. May the sun warm you by day. May the moon restore you at night. May the rain wash away any worries you have. May you walk in the world, know her beauty and your own. Namaste, everybody. Thanks for coming today.